And I had the opportunity when I was a squadron commander deploying to Nellis to go through the Nellis range. And uh, I was able to go supersonic at 100 feet above the ground, hand flying. Uh, the terrain following radar did not have a 100 foot uh, setting. And um, then we would climb out, go to Nellis and land. And on that day, it took me about four or five minutes to be able to get my hand off the stick because it was quite exciting to uh, fly at 100 feet. It was a very nice transition, but a, a natural one going from B-52s on alert to FB-111s on alert. So what are some of the differences in flight characteristics between the B-52s and the F-111s? They were stark, the differences. B-52, of course, was subsonic. FB-111 had uh, the capability to go up to Mach 2.2, service ceiling of about 60,000 feet. We had systems in it like the automatic terrain following radar. Terrain avoidance radar on the F-111A will allow it to fly low-level missions supersonically day or night. In the autopilot cu coupled to the radar would uh, allow us to fly 200 feet above the ground up to about 1,000 th feet above the ground. So what's it like going from an airplane with eight throttles to one that only has two? A lot easier on your hand because you had uh, only the two throttles. And uh, the FE 111 was very responsive, particularly with the five stage afterburner. And takeoff was always a kick, 20,000 pounds of thrust in each engine. On my first flight at Westover Air Force Base in the B 52, we were only airborne for about an hour. And one of the wise guy navigators downstairs said, Hey, Ray, did you ever want to fly a single engine aircraft? And I said, Yeah, it just didn't work out. So the navigator says on interphone, Hey, pilot, give him number eight for the rest of the flight. An incredible story. And did he? We got past that. 